First time I saw you, I knew all the time It was something in the air the night And in the way you looked at me I get nervous when you get close And my heart fills up with butterflies And then you leave me speechless My world turned upside down Say that you won't go and break my heart Break my heart, don't break it now Remember it's the only one I've got The one I've got Don't break my heart Don't break my heart Welcome to my life today. We actually just got out of a lactation consultation. Um, I haven't talked about this at all, but um, Ava just has had a really hard time breastfeeding um, since the day she was born. Like we saw multiple, multiple 
lactation consultants in the hospital and um, she just would not latch. She's just like not interested in breastfeeding, very fussy and um, just like wouldn't open her mouth wide enough or want to put in the effort to nurse. We've tried off and on for the last month and um, our her pediatrician recommended we go see lactation consultants um, at Cedar sinai and um, that's what we did today and she did so good she did so good she nursed for 20 minutes mostly on the right side and a little bit on the left and um, she took in a little over two ounces um, which will hold her over usually she drinks like three and a half or four but um, we'll we'll take it and she'll be hungry a little earlier than normal and you know i'll just feed her again from the bottles we're so happy about that we made progress today i'm so proud of her um we'll have another follow-up lactation consultation next wednesday and um this particular consultant she actually taught me a lot a lot they didn't teach me in the hospital which i think you just have a different experience with different types of providers but um she showed me a couple of things to do to right now she's like not the best at the the latching and having her tongue in the right position to be effective at nursing which means she gives up you know like if you're you're doing something and you're not good at it you're probably going to give up but she taught me a few techniques like um you know when she's really hungry and fussy to like give her about 10 sucks of the bottle and then do some i forget the word she calls it but basically use my finger to help her practice her her, her latch after sucking on the bottle for a little bit to kind of take take the edge off the hunger um and then starting with your finger with your nail up and then once she gets a good rhythm turning your finger over and then watching to see that her tongue is coming over her bottom gum because that's what's going to really get a, a deep effective latch um then using um a different position i was using the football hold which was not working out it was uncomfortable for me it was uncomfortable for her but she taught me how to use um a different position properly and that was a lot more comfortable and ava seemed to respond to that so very excited um my breastfeeding journey has not been like you know other people's who are like oh yeah my baby came out of the womb and she latched right on um that was not my experience at all and it was actually a little disappointing and i was really it also took a, a couple of days for my milk to come in which was the second night i was like devastated because she was hungry and i had nothing to give her um but it came in later on day three when we got home from the hospital um and since then she's been almost exclusively breastfed we've supplemented with formula here and there um wants to just see if it would help with the length of her sleeping which formula definitely does that other than that she's been exclusively breastfed from a bottle so i've been exclusively pumping and uh, working on maintaining my milk supply which the lactation con console or can i say that lactation consultants said was really good and that i was um you know being pretty effective especially if i had not only enough milk to feed her but also to store in the freezer i actually have like two bags two like zip block bags full of individual um like smaller bags of three to six ounces of milk stored away so i have a little bit of a stash already which we don't really have a big enough freezer but whatever exclusively pumping sometimes feels like a chore be especially in the middle of the night when she's waking up every three hours still at one month old it takes her about 20 minutes to finish a bottle. I have to change her diaper, soothe her back to sleep, put her back in her snoo. That's a 45 minute process in the middle of the night. And then to add another 20 minutes of like sitting there and pumping and like massaging and adding heat and pressure and monitoring to make sure that, that you're pumping effectively. It's just a lot of work. So to all the mamas out there who are exclusively pumping, girl i feel you it's a lot of work it is a lot of work and i'm just glad that we're we have some new techniques to try with nursing because i want to have i want to be able to nurse her you know it, especially when you're in a pinch it's like easier to pull out a breast than it is to whip out your spectra or your lv pumps and do all that extra stuff like i i want her to be able to nurse and so we are going to practice the techniques that we were 
taught just now. Um, the lady was really nice. She was really helpful. And we're gonna come back in about a week and a half to follow up on some progress. And um, she told me, she's like, you come back as often as you need to, as often as you feel like you need support, um, if it's going well, if it's not going well, whatever, whatever you need. So that was really reassuring. I'm excited that we you know, made some progress today. Um, the other interesting thing is that she told me about baby uh, aromatherapy and nano napping, which was really interesting. <laughs> Basically, um, when baby's in the breastfeeding recovery position, which is like there on your chest like this, um, in the middle, is that a gray hair? <laughs> when they're in the breastfeeding recovery position and you're just like stressed or you're like super tired which be careful especially if you are like not in a safe position and baby could like roll off of you but basically to um smell the top of their head and <laughs> i know it sounds a little woo woo but it's actually scientifically backed um smell the top of their head um uh, breathe in slowly and exhale for uh, slowly and like apparently that helps like manage you like inc boost your oxytocin or whatever and she's like you should do it your husband should do it so I'm gonna have to teach Aaron how to do that um, but it's supposed to like you know help you feel calmer and help you feel like re more rested and but it's also supposed to help with milk production too because you know it's all a hormone supply demand type type of situation so that was um, interesting and something I hadn't heard before. I regret, I was telling Erin, I was like, I'm gonna go to this console and it's just gonna be more of the same stuff and they're not gonna be able to get her to latch and they're gonna be like, just keep trying, just keep trying, just keep doing the things. Even though the things that they were teaching me were, she wasn't responding. Um, and I take, I take that back because this lady was really good and she taught me some stuff I didn't know. So we're gonna see her again next Wednesday and we're just gonna keep keep trying you know I wanted to give breastfeeding an a, a, a honest to goodness try I want to be able to have that option even if it's not like you know she's exclusively nursing all the time but you know it's important to have that relationship and like I felt like I was missing out on something um and again like you compare yourself to other people because you hear people talk about their experience with breastfeeding and they're like ah oh, yeah the, she was hungry and and that was not my experience at all and I beat myself up about it a lot so um, if you exclusively pump, great. It's a lot of work. I feel you, girl. If you exclusively nurse, that's amazing. Super glad to hear you have that relationship with your baby. And if you do a little bit of both, which is what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to land somewhere squarely in the middle, amazing. So we're in Beverly Hills right now. Um, I'm actually going to head to Bye Bye Baby and to the grocery store. Um, I really want to get her some Christmas PJs because I want to plan out, um, I want to do like kind of like a virtual Christmas card with her. Um, we, I totally flaked on like the newborn photos. She's a month old now, which she's still young. And obviously you could take photos with your baby at any time, but um, since we didn't do like newborn photos, I want to um, try to figure out a setup to where we can do our own homemade, homemade, or do our own photos and like maybe, you know, me and Erin will coordinate and then like get her some cute jammies so that we can do like a virtual um, Christmas card and send um, photos to like physical Christmas cards to some of the like my grandma, my aunts, um, things like that. So we're going, it's it, obviously, I, ha, I have not been able to find cute jammies online, which you would think like, of course, the, the intrawebs has all of the things. Um, so I actually think Target had a good selection in store. Not on the website though, because everything on the website is sold out. Um, so we're gonna head to Bye Bye Baby. I also wanna get her a couple more bibs because she's at that stage where she needs the burp cloth just ain't doing it she needs that tied around her neck um we have some of the tommy tippy ones with the rim and then we have some eight and a nine ones which are basically muslin cloths with a neck hole so um, i want to get one more pack of those and then just browse to see if there's any interesting finds um it's cyber monday so after that i'm gonna go well no after bye bye baby pick up some things at the grocery store and then go home and um do maybe some cyber monday shopping along with editing this vlog so i've talked along enough we're gonna like i said head there and then head home but overall i'm having a really good day i'm excited we are making progress that makes me feel a lot better um yeah all right we'll see you soon
Okay, well that was a freaking fail. Um, it was a Bye Bye Baby inside of a Bed Bath & Beyond and they didn't have any clothes really. They just had some baby gear, I don't know, some basic stuff for feeding. Definitely didn't find what I was looking for. Um, they didn't have a great selection of bibs and their clothes selection was like literally nothing. It was basically like plain white onesies and some clearance items but <laughs> I did find a couple of things for myself <laughs> spent like 25 bucks but really excited yo this is the biggest bottle ever um the x super strong xl chug bottle it's like 68 ounces this thing was on sale for 12 bucks like this thing is gonna save me at night um I'm gonna fill this bad boy up with ice and you know it has this like this thing it has a straw so pumped about this so i'm taking it on the go the only thing i worry about is it not being insulated which me oh which which means it's probably going to sweat but can't them all and then i got two other things i just got some bath gloves some exfoliating bath gloves um i like to use these on my face and as well as to get a deep scrub um, all over. Finally, I just got some Dr. Teal's uh, eucalyptus and spearmint uh, body wash with Epsom salts. I've really been enjoying um, trying new body washes since I'm not buying a lot of like makeup or anything because I'm just not wearing a lot of it. So um, my shower time, especially as a new mom is um really sacred and i like to um try new body washes so i have yet to try dr teal's hope it's relaxing because i need it um i think that's that's about it i'm gonna end this vlog here because we are just gonna hit um the grocery store there's a ralph's kind of like across the street um, but if you enjoyed today's video, you should like, comment, and subscribe. Um, we'll be uh, making a lot more videos over the course of the next few months. Lots of exciting stuff coming. So, yeah, I love you guys, and I will talk to you next time. Bye!